so right now we are currently sitting on my bed in my bedroom and I've laid out a bit of a trap for wild animal and um, it might not come for a couple of minutes. I've laid out some refreshers because I heard they like them. This is um, the, um, the wild jack and I'm trying to attract him with some refreshers so we kind of need to keep a little quiet because he might not come so let's just wait and see. And watch while he um, stocks his prey first, he will um, get his eye on it. Um, he'll probably like lunge his hands forward a tiny bit, but not like properly. He'll practice grabbing it first, like just with his um, pinchers that can actually go straight out, like but like a goblin shark, they can detach from his face and they can get it. And they'll stalk the prey and they'll make sure that it's not got a chance to run away. And then hopefully soon he'll strike. And he will keep going until all the refreshers are gone. He might even start breaking into the rest of the bag and attacking it. I don't know. anymore and then he'll um he'll maybe grab some and he might st sometimes they regurgitate take things it's completely normal maybe he might stick some in his pouch and take them back to his babies that he recently gave birth to yeah that's the hard life of a wild jack sometimes they give birth through their penises a bit like hyenas yeah hyenas male and female both have penises so and that's actually an environmental problem. Maybe Peter might get back to me on that one because I've left a plastic bag and he might die. But of course, because this is a wildlife documentary, you're not allowed to interfere. You've got to just stand back and let it die. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully now we can kind of take the hide back to our camp and we'll go and find his his babies and deep fry them. I ran out.